And this is a mindset that I had for the longest time. I had all of these different limiting beliefs that restricted my ability to take the necessary action. But it was only until I came across the concept of the law of attraction, that's when everything changed. So one day I came across a book called The Secret. I came across the movie as well. And when I watched the movie and I read the book, I was able to understand the importance of having belief when it came to whatever goals that you have. And for those of you that's not really sure of exactly what the law of attraction is, all it is is a philosophy that says whatever you believe in and whatever you put intention into is going to happen. That's the simplistic version. Of course, there's some other aspects to it, you know, understanding quantum physics, understanding how the mindset, the subconscious mind works. You know, there's so many different aspects to it, but ultimately it just comes down to believing in yourself. I come across so many people that want to be able to do this and want to be able to do that, but deep down within their mind, they don't believe in themselves. And because of that, nothing ever happens. So the main advice that I'm giving you for this first step is you can either use the law of attraction, you know, read up on it, get an understanding of it. That's what I would recommend. But if you don't want to do that, all you need to do is believe that $10,000 is possible. It's actually quite easy. You know, there's so many people doing it. People know smarter than yourself. And to be completely honest with you, $10,000 per month is actually the starting point. Point. So if you do currently have people in your life telling you that $10,000 per month is impossible, you need to try block these people out because all they're going to do is limit your ability to be able to live the life that you want to live. But swiftly moving on to one of the second steps or second things that I wish I knew from day one, which is that you need to pick the best internet-based business for your own specific situation. Now, in the world that we're living in, there's so many different options out there that you can choose from when it comes to making money online. And I've learned over these years that it's very important to make sure that you pick something that number one, you're passionate about, number two, it matches your skill set, and number three, you're gonna be able to continue doing through any obstacles. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of people want to copy what someone else is doing, maybe because they're they're driving a nice car maybe because they're living in a nice house but they don't really understand what goes into doing that particular business model another thing that i see with so many people is that they will pick a particular business you know without fully understanding what goes into it and all that happens is that they end up getting shiny object syndrome and bouncing from different side hustle to different side hustle like for example, I know so many different people that one minute they think about starting some sort of an e-commerce business, maybe selling products on Amazon or eBay. From there, they decide that they don't want to do that no more. They want to do drop shipping. You know, they do that maybe for a month, two months, hit their first obstacle. From there, they move over to Forex. You know, they try that, lose a little bit of money. Then they move over to affiliate marketing. Maybe they're not able to pick up momentum as quick as what they thought. So within a couple months, they now move over to doing YouTube. They do that first couple of videos get low views then they move over to selling digital products that doesn't work and then they move back over to Amazon and then it just ends up being a repeat cycle of them trying different things not sticking with it because they're not fully understanding what goes into it so one of the things that I wish I did from the very beginning is understand all of the different internet-based businesses look at the different pros and cons of each and pick the one that was suitable for me and this now brings me on to one of the next steps that you need to take once you've done your research you've understood the different business models that are out there, which is that you need to have a solid plan that's going to take you from zero to $10,000. So the main thing that you want to avoid when you get to this stage is not just picking a business because of the pros and cons, but also pick it because you've got a clear blueprint that's going to get you from the point that you're at now to $10,000 in a single month using specific strategies. A lot of people walk into internet businesses without fully understanding the steps that they need to take, you know, what's going to get them to their financial goals and this is something that you want to avoid because all you're going to end up doing is wasting your time energy and money and right now you're probably thinking about sam how exactly am i going to know how to get to ten thousand dollars if i've never done it before well that's where the internet is going to be able to help you of course there's various different courses out there that you can get you know i've got courses that you can join if you want but there's also free resources that you're going to be able to use for example there is this quiz that's going to help you when it comes to number one knowing what internet business to start based on your own personal situation and number two at the end of it it's going to give you a structured business plan and that business plan is going to be detailed when it comes to knowing what is the best things to do to go from zero to 10k per month now let me quickly show you how it works so i'm going to leave it linked down below completely free you don't need to pay a single penny to use it the first question is going to be what type of product do you prefer to sell 
Now, I'm just going to enter random answers for this quiz. I'm gonna select physical products and then click on next. How much money do you have to invest upfront right now? Let's say if I've got over $500, I'm gonna select this one. Where do you want to sell your products? You know, for me, I would say Shopify. In this example, of course, you can select whichever one you want and then click on next. Next question is what niche are you focused on? So you wanna pick something that you're passionate about, as I said before, there's no point picking something because of the money that you can make. And now when it comes to marketing the products, when it comes to actually doing the business, you're sick of it, you don't like it because maybe you don't care about fashion and you've picked it because you might make money, maybe you don't care about pets. It's very important to make sure that you look within and find something that matches your passion, your interest or whatever hobby that you have. So I'm just going to select electronics and gadgets because this is something that I've always been interested in and then click on next. How much time can you dedicate towards this internet based business per week? I'm going to say that I can do over 10 plus hours, then click on next. How would you like to market your store? I'm going to say that I would like to do paid ads. You know, of course, you've got the option of free marketing if you want, but I'm just going to select this one, click on next. And what it's then going to do is come back with this prompt that you're going to copy and paste into ChatGPT so that you can get your custom business plan. So if I just copy it just like this, then come over to ChatGPT, I'm going to paste all all of the text in there just like that bear in mind that it's been customized to my specific answers and straight away it's going to be able to now give me this detailed business plan it's going to come back with the best products for me to sell in the specific niche it's also going to come back with the best suppliers you know the marketing strategy that i need to use content ideas for seo as well as email marketing, just everything I need when it comes to being able to get this business off the ground. And the best part about it is that if you're using this quiz and you get this prompt, it's gonna give you a detailed step-by-step -step method that you need to take when it comes to going from zero to 10K per month as a complete beginner. But the main point with this is that you just want to figure out ways for you to have a structured business plan. If you're going to use something like ChatGPT, great. You know, you can get this plan, print it out, stick it on your bedroom wall. And this is going to give you the steps that you need to take when it comes to accomplishing your financial goals. And this actually now brings me on to the next step, which is to make sure that you're integrating artificial intelligence in as many areas that you can with your newly found internet business. So as I said, back when I first started making money online, you know, I didn't have AI. And because of that, I had to do things manually. When it came to creating product listings, when it came to, you know, setting things up, various different things, I had to do things all by myself. And that's not necessarily bad because I learned so many different skills. But if I had all of the different AI bots that we have today, I would have been able to shorten down the time that I put into things, which of course would have allowed me to get to the point of 10K per month even quicker. So as someone that's been able to run multiple different internet-based businesses for the past 10 years, generate millions of dollars online, I'll definitely say that right now is probably the easiest time to get started. By no means am I saying that it's gonna be completely easy just because you've got AI, but you're gonna be able to use them as tools when it comes to helping you out and just save a lot of money because you don't have to hire so many different freelancers, you don't have to you know, spend days doing so many different things. And of course, whichever side hustle or internet business you're thinking about doing, you're gonna find the appropriate AI tool to help you with that particular business model. For example, you can use tools like ChatGPT to help you with almost any different side hustle out there. You can also use a website builder like this one when it comes to building a Shopify store in a matter of minutes. There's other AI tools that you can use like Hostinger when it comes to getting a blog website or an affiliate marketing website up and running. Or maybe you're thinking about going down the route of doing content. There's tools like InVideo that you can use when it comes to producing videos in a matter of minutes where you don't need to show your face and you don't need to use your voice. And these are just a few different AI tools that are out there. There's probably 20, 30, 40 different tools that you can use when it comes to helping you make money online. But this now brings me on to one of the final things that I want to talk about. One of the final steps that you need to be aware of. And of course, there's going to be little steps in between this entire thing. But generally speaking, one of the final things that I want to touch on is the importance of not getting stuck at 10K per month. Right now, you're probably someone that can only dream of making $10,000 in a single month. But I'm here today to say that it's not the final goal. And the only reason why I feel called to tell you this is because I come across so many different people, all of my different students that I'm mentoring or whatever it is that will get to $5,000, maybe $10,000, and then they just stop. The reason for this is because when most people get to 10K per month, 
most of their bills, most of their living expenses, you know, most of the things that they have to pay for every single month is covered. And I'm not saying that you need to be a greedy person or just think about accumulating things for no reason, but the reason why I'm saying that you shouldn't stop when you get to 10K per month and you should get to 20K, 30K, 40K, 50K and beyond is because the more money that you're able to build up, the more options that you're gonna be able to have. And realistically, it's a lot easier to fall back from 10K back to zero than it is from 50K to zero or maybe even 100K to zero. And as long as you're in an internet-based business where you're adding value to someone else's life, whether that's in the form of content, maybe that's in the form of selling some sort of helpful digital product or physical product, the more money that you bring in as an entrepreneur, it only means that you're able to help more and more people. So I'm not saying that you should make more than 10K per month so that you can go out and buy designer items, maybe pop champagne. I'm saying that you should make more money for yourself, for your customers, and for your family. If you get to 10K per month and you decide to completely stop, what that means is you're possibly limiting your actions. You're probably, you know, becoming more of a complacent person, which can translate to you becoming more of a lazy person. So it's all about putting more energy into things, you know, taking more action, massive action so that you can achieve massive goals. But for the most part, those are five things that I wish I knew from the very beginning when I first started building up my internet business, because it would have just helped me understand what I needed to focus on. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification because I've got many more videos coming out over the next few weeks. And if you also wanted to enroll in a five day online business crash course, where for the next five days, I'm gonna send an email personally sent by myself into your inbox to help you when it comes to the steps that goes into building up an internet business. Don't worry, you don't need to pay a single penny for it. You're gonna be able to find it, top link in the description. And if you also wanted to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where I go through some of the steps that you need to take when it comes to being able to set up a business, practically speaking, I'm talking click by click, step by step, what you need to do on the laptop when it comes to making your first $100. You're gonna be able to watch that video by clicking the link over there. Check that out straight after this because as always, it's already helped out so many people. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it from start to finish without skipping, it's also gonna help you out too. But other than that guys, I'll catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.